Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, whereby we are going to learn and experience together. Today we are going to have our biology form 2, lesson 15, uh, whereby your tutor will be Mr. Gerard. We are going to handle the topic on transport in animals under the subtopic composition of blood. Uh, remember in our previous lessons, we said that uh, blood uh, com is composed of um, several um, blood um, components whereby we've looked at um, several of them but in this lesson we are going to look at uh, especially the white blood cells but before that we are going to have the following lesson goal whereby uh, by the end of the lesson you should be able to give the adaptations of the white blood cells to their function so uh, let us begin and follow up the lesson um, the white blood cells um, in other um, in biological name they are also known as the leukocytes whereby unlike the red blood uh, the red blood cells white blood cells they are nucleated let us see from our diagram they are nucleated that is mean they have got a nucleus and the lack hemoglobin ends their cytoplasm appears colorless they are fewer in number and larger than the red blood cells they are about 7000 leukocytes per cubic millimeter of blood in an average healthy man there are about 600 red blood cells to every one leukocyte cell. However, their number increases greatly during infection. They are formed in the uh, bone marrow of long bones and lymph nodes. Their function is to protect the body against pathogenic microorganisms, whereby the microorganisms um, include bacteria. We have the protozoa. We also have the viruses and uh, some other secretions. Leukocytes, which is the uh, white blood cells, they are of two main types whereby the first type is the granulocytes and the second one are the agranulocytes. Agranulocytes are also called the phagocytes or uh, polymorphs. We have the white blood cells here in our diagrammatic representation. But uh, before that, let us have the, the white blood cells uh, diagrammatic representation. The granulocytes use amoeboid movement to pass through the walls of the capillaries into the affected tissues. If the uh, in the tissues and the blood and uh, in the tissues and the blood, the granulocytes engulf pathogenic microorganisms by the process called phagocytosis, hence the name phagocyte. Once ingested, the microorganisms are digested and destroyed. Some white blood cells may die in the course of phagocytosis. The dead phagocytes uh, together, the dead phagocytes together with the um, together with the dead microorganisms and damaged tissues form the pus. The agranulocytes assist the phagocytes to destroy the pathogenic microorganisms. The agranulocytes, remember we have said that the white blood cells are um, of two types. Remember we've said the, 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 ag the granulocytes. Now we are looking at the agranulocytes. They lack granules in their cytoplasm and are of two types. We have the monocytes and we also have the lymphocytes. As you can see from our diagram, we, uh, we have the monocytes and the lymphocytes. The monocytes have a large lobed nucleus and are produced in the bone marrow. They exhibit amoeboid movement, hence are able to move to sites of infection and engulf pathogenic microorganisms. Therefore, they are phagocytic. Um, lymphocytes have round nuclei and are produced in the thiamus and leaf glands. They protect the body by producing antibodies. The antibodies are produced when microorganisms invade the body. The antibodies produced are of different types and they protect the body in the following ways. So these are the following ways uh, how the antibodies protect the body. One, uh, remember that we said that antibodies, that they are antitoxins, whereby they neutralize the toxins. Or uh, the toxins, we can revert them to as the uh, antigens produced by pathogenic microorganisms. Two, some antibodies, such as anglutinins, cause clumping together of microorganisms. This stops the microorganisms from multiplying and eventually they die. In this way, they are ingested by the phagocytes. Three, uh, they protect the body by, whereby the lysins destroy microorganisms by digesting their cell membranes or walls. And once they destroy their, um, their cell membranes of um, the antigens, they will eventually die. Having done and said that, we are going to have the following activity whereby you are required to 
give five functions of the white blood cells to the body of a human being. Uh, for more of uh, this uh, lesson and many more, you can refer to KLB, Secondary Biology Students Book 1, which is the fourth edition Nairobi, Kenya Literature Bureau. And to get uh, this lesson and many more biology lessons, you can send an, uh, us an SMS through the number that is appearing on our screen, or you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Elimu TV, or our Facebook page, which is also Elimu TV, or you tweet us um, at Elimu TV underscore Kenya. Uh, let us subscribe to this channel so that we can keep, uh, we'll be updated by the lessons and we can enjoy them. Thank you.